Okay, to start my assessment, I would make sure that I gathered all my supplies, was familiar with the patient and what they were coming in for. If it was known, I'd make sure that I gathered all PPE, put it on, and performed hand hygiene. Always knock before entering the patient's room. Come in. Hi, my name's Laura. I'm gonna be your nurse today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Frank Anisbet, June 26, 2000. Perfect. Do you know where you are today, Mr. Anisbet? Yes, I do. Where are you? I'm at the clinic. Great. And can you tell me what the date is? Uh, July 13th, 2023. Great. What are we seeing you for? Just a physical. Awesome. So I'm going to do a quick head to toe assessment after I grab your vitals. Okay. So I'm just going to start at the top, work my way down, make sure that everything looks okay before the doctor comes in. Sound okay? Yep. Great. So at this point I would make sure to grab his vitals. So his temp, his respiratory rate, his pulses, um, his BP and his oxygen level. Do you have any pain today? I do not. No, any headaches, dizziness, cramping, numbness, anywhere? Nope. Okay, perfect. Um, anything else I should be aware of before we start? I don't think so. Okay, great. So I'm going to, I would uh, start in the, I would start at his head. So I would just make sure that everything looks okay. No lice, lesions, anything like that. Awesome. I would look at his face, checking for symmetry. Can you open your mouth? Uh, perfect. Can you turn your head both ways? And the other way. Awesome, thank you. I would check inside of his ears. Let me flip back over. Awesome. Can you tip your head up? I'm gonna take a look at your nostrils. Awesome. Can you open your mouth? Say ah, checking ah. teeth, throat, all of that. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to check your vision now. Do you have any blurry vision? Anything like that? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna check his pupils to make sure that they're equal, round, reactive, and a comedy light. So if you can just look straight ahead, you're gonna see a little flash of light, okay? Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so can you look at the pen light? Perfect, and then focus on the wall beyond it. Awesome, back to the pen light. Great, and back to the wall. Perfect, thank you. Okay, keep your head straight and just follow the pen with your eyes, okay? All right. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So after checking his skin on his face, make sure that everything looks okay. Um, check his temperature. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to check your carotid now one at a time. Perfect. Awesome. Checking his neck. For symmetry. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. I am going to have you put your arms out, palms up. Great. We're going to check your poles. Radial and brachial. Perfect. Grab my hands. Go ahead and grab them and squeeze. Perfect. All right. Can you go ahead and push up against my hands? Awesome. Turn your hands over. Push down. Nice. Okay. I'm going to check your cap refill. Should be less than three seconds. Awesome. Looking over his skin for any lesions, anything like that. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to take a listen to your breath sounds and your heart sounds. Does that sound okay to you? Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, just take a deep breath when I say, otherwise you are good. Normally you would use your stethoscope underneath clothing and sheets, but we're going to let Frank keep his shirt on for this. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Again. Perfect. Again. Perfect. Go under your arm. Awesome. Take a deep breath. And one more. Great. Okay, go ahead and lean forward for me. All right, deep breath. Again. Perfect. One more. And last one on this side. Great. All right, go ahead and lean back. I'm going to take a quick listen to your heart. All right, so we're going to start with the aortic, pulmonary, 
herbs, a custard, and the apex. You always want to make sure that you listen to the apical for a full 60 seconds counting beats per minute. Awesome. At this point, I would move down to his abdomen. Uh, when doing the abdomen, you want to make sure to always um, inspect, oscillate, palpate, and percuss um, so that you don't disturb anything. So I would take a look, make sure that everything looks symmetrical um, and that his skin isn't red or tender in any place. Um, and then I would go ahead and listen, starting at the right lower quadrant. Listening for bowel sounds. I'd ask the patient about his last bowel movement, if he's having any difficulty urinating, anything like that. Um, next, I'd go ahead and palpate, always making sure that the bladder has been emptied before doing this. Um, Palpate, and then you can percuss. Perfect. All right, so I would go ahead and move down. I'm gonna have you move your hands for me. I'd listen, I'd get the patient's home oral pulses, check his skin for temperature, coolness, any swelling, lesions, anything like that as I work my way down. I'd feel his popliteal pulses. Again, checking for edema. Great, can you put your feet together for me? Perfect, so I would feel his tibialis, fetal, and then I'd get cap refill on his toes. Perfect, all right, go ahead and push up against, push down again, great. All right, and now pull, awesome, good. Okay, anything else I should, be, can, I should know about before the doctor comes in? Nope. Okay, perfect, everything looks great. Um, let us know if you have any questions, otherwise the doctor will be with you. I'd make sure that his call light was closed, that he had all of his immediate needs tended to, um, water, those types of things. Um, I'd make sure that the patient was comfortable and then I would perform hand hygiene, take off PPE, and end my time in the client's room.